So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, Boolean's operation. Let's start by creating a cube and a torus. And I'm going to scale up our cube a bit like this. And then uh, let's go and apply the Booleans. So what Boolean does is basically you tell Maya that I would like to cut this torus by this shift select cube all right and then you can go ahead and do the booleans from here or you can go to the mesh booleans from here all right mesh booleans so i'm going here and select the booleans in union basically what it does it's exactly works like a combine if, let's come and Z go back you need to see the uh, outliner at the same time so I have my cube and torus selected and then go to booleans and see it gives me a new shape all right then you can change the the operation to difference to get a shape like this or you can go to the intersection to get a shape like this and um, let's go back to talk about um, if what what happens if you, for example, tell the Maya to first select cut the cube with the torus. All right, you you definitely get a different result like this. Now we cut our cube with the torus. All right, this is the same, but the difference would be a shape <coughs> like this. Let's go back, and as you can see, for example, if um, you see there are some, uh, our, it, our shape is not very smooth. That's because if we go back here, um, why our shape shape is not smooth? Because our torus is not smooth. To smooth your your torus, you should uh, you should press three, all right, to get a smooth shape shape like this all right but a smooth shapes doesn't work really good with the booleans so you need to change or let's say convert the smooth mesh as preview all right to polygons before operating the booleans how like this you have your smooth shape here you should go to the modify convert and then smooth mesh preview to polygon now we get a polygon here. This is a uh, this is the same if you need to bevel your object. It is better to do so before operation, uh, before operating actually, before operating the booleans. Okay, <clears throat> so I need to, for example, bevel my let's bevel our cube here and actually let's go to something for example let's add four and then go to something like this all right maybe five to get more smooth all right and then with our cube beveled and torus uh, to um to like a, change the smooth to polygon we select our cube and tell to shift select torus to cut by torus and go to the boolean and set it to difference now as you can see we get a smooth uh smooth shape here okay perfect let's talk about the boolean's options that we have edge and normals i'm going to just very shortly show you what is this uh, let's first change our cube shape let's edit uh, delete our history now we have a simple shape here all right and mesh here now let's create a plane and rotate it on a z 90 and i am going to <clears throat> select our plane and scale it up like this all right something like this and then Select our cube, shift select plane, and operate boolean. Okay. The difference between edge, and let's see what's the difference between edge and normal. And difference, we get this 
it would be on the edge operation we see this and on normal we see this and on the inter section we actually get this by normal or edge so these are the differences uh, on this operation and remember that this uh, classification just works if you have a, a open mesh open mesh like plane all right it doesn't work on a closed meshes like a um, sphere a cube so on okay I'm going to command Z to back and I'm going to um, actually get rid of our uh, plane <clears throat> so let's see what's the difference between combine and boolean all right all right so look, to see the difference I'm going to add a cylinder and base and let's make it smaller move it up here smaller with down here something like that all right let's first combine our cube our cube and uh, our cylinder all right i'm going to combine this to to get at this new shape all right in combine the problem with the combine is if i go to the face mode here and if I remove the lower part, you can still see the faces, the, the interior faces, all right, of the cylinder. Okay, now let's Boolean this. Command Z, Command Z, Command Z, Command Z. All right, now I'm going to select this and then our cylinder and Boolean. Basically, we get the same shape as the combined, but the difference is if I go and select, let's select these faces and remove. And as you can see, there is no interior faces of the cylinder anymore. So when the surface are added together, uh, Boolean remove our interior faces. All right. This is the difference between Boolean and combined. Let's go back. <coughs> And actually, let's talk about and uh, for the edit the original object after boolean. Let's say you want to edit uh, this object after you operate the boolean. All right. So we said we we select our shape, then cylinder to cut by cylinder, boolean, and go to the for example difference. All right. <coughs> now, for example, you need to change your. Uh, you need to first we see. Uh, as you see your cylinder disappears all right and if you need to see it you should do this you should you, you need to basically to make an input object visible you need to select the object transform node all right which is we want to see our cylinder we need to select the transform node and then go to the attribute editor okay attribute editor and display and then check the visibility all right and then we need to go to the cylinder shape here cylinder shape and turn off the intermediate object now a cylinder the cylinder is visible and we can do some for example let's go to the target world and edge and do some operation like this for example to change our cylinder then you can go to the again select your transform and go back visibility off and basically you can get a shape like this all right so there are more uh, more tips in 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 the weblog related to this post you can go to the defocuseye.com and search for booleans to find the post related to this video and to get more uh, there are more tips on how to work with the booleans <laughs>